Hi, with today we finish Acts chapter 2, with the last two verses of the chapter, Acts 2, 46 and 47. See if you can pronounce the Greek. Okay, here's my, te my attempt. Kathemeron uh, te, pros kartaruntes, homo thumadon, en to hiero, klontes te, katoikon, arton, metalabonon, metalabanon, trophes en agaiase, kai atheloteti, cardias, verse 47, ainuntes ton theon, kai ekontes, karen, pros holon ton laon, hodakurios, pros atithe, Tus sozomenus kathemeron epi to auto. Notice we've got kathemeron twice in these two verses. Okay, let's do, oh, uh, now translate it. Luigi, can you translate it for us? Okay, um, and, post positive, and daily, according to the day, or daily, it's an idiom, uh, holding fast together in the temple, and, Breaking according to house bread, um, breaking bread from house to house, they were um, uh, something of food. What is that word? That word is uh, they were partaking. Yeah, there it is. They were partaking of food, genitive, with rejoicing and genuineness of heart. Verse 47, praising God and having favor. This word off usually means grace. Uh, but I think favor goes here, which shows that there's a connection between grace and favor, I think, um, to all the people, with all the people. And the Lord was adding, in perfect tense, uh, the ones being saved daily into the same. Intensive use of, uh, I'm sorry, identical use of the personal pronoun. Okay, so let's do the interlinear. According to the day, daily, and according to the day, holding fast, my aunt is an active participle. Okay, present tense, as we'll find out. I think I've parsed this a little bit later on. All the letters of the present stem are there. The epsilon part, re o, the contract vowel has crashed with the ending. Uh, and daily, uh, holding fast together in the temple. And a breaking, my aunt is an active participle, according to house bread. Uh, they were partaking, another imperfect tense, partaking of food. I think I'll parse this one in a second. Can you translate this for us, Luigi? With rejoicing. I know it's in, but the word in as the dative in general can mean all sorts of things. Uh, in, in, in rejoicing wouldn't be good English, so we say like with rejoicing. Uh, this might call it a dative of manner. Well, how are they rejoicing, Ken? Uh, or how were they partaking? Well, they were partaking with rejoicing. That's the way in which they were doing it. And in genuineness, another dative, uh, of heart, uh, praising the God, the God, not Zeus, but the God, and having favor with all the people. And the Lord was adding, imperfect, I'll parse it in a second, the ones being saved daily in the same. Now, this doesn't mean that they're, in, as I said in the, the overview video on Sunday, this doesn't mean that they're in a process of being saved. It's, iter it's iterative. Uh, there's a person who's saved, and there's a person that's saved, and oh, here's another person that's saved. This just in. Another person saved. The one's being saved. Um, pop, 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 pop. Now, of course, salvation has to do with the day of judgment, most literally, but they're signing up for it. They're getting their, their ticket to salvation. Oh, another one got their ticket to salvation. Okay. Um, parsing. Uh, again, my aunt is an active participle. It's gotten a little crash there uh, because the eh and the ah. Uh, the Omicron crash, and, and ooh, we've had a crash here. Present, because all the letters of the present stem are there. Active, because that's an active aunt a participle. Nominative masculine plural, because S is a nominative masculine plural ending. Pars cartereo. Clone test is clao, another contract verb. Uh, the alpha, with alphas and Omicrons, whichever comes first. Well, no, Omicrons went out over, over almost everything, and it's crowned an omega. It was an Omicron, and it became an Omega. Um, so that's where the Omega comes from. And then we have a little police line to say, there's been a crash here. Stand back. Um, but my aunt is an active participle. 
present because the letters of the present stem are represented. Uh, nominative masculine plural because the S. Breaking. Metalambanon. Uh, so it's imperfect. It's metalambano, the letters there. Remember, this word lobs you in Aris, just L-A-B. So since the letters of the present stem are there, it's imperfect. There's the augment, third person plural ending. Imperfect active indicative. Yep, there it is. They were partaking. Uh, customary, ongoing, repeated. Imperfect has a sense of continuous in the past. So it was not something they just did. Tuesday, we're done. But they were regularly um, partaking of bread together. Same thing with this one. This is also imperfect. It's from prostithemi. So the fact that we have the irregular uh, reduplication with an iota, t, there indicates it's the present stem. And then the present stem with an augment is the imperfect tense. So it's imperfect, it's active, indicative, third singular. Basically, an epsilon, uh, it looks like an epsilon has crashed there. Epsilons and epsilons crash to form um, A. Um, so a little weird, though, because that's not really an epsilon. We'll just we'll let it go. There you have it. Very quick, and we are done with Acts chapter 2. We have now translated two whole chapters of Greek. On to chapter three next week.